Hi guys! Today was an exciting day. Um, I uh, left BAE. Um, I only gave a week of notice because um, that was what my contract said I had to give. Um, so it was very sudden. Basically, uh, three weeks ago, I got a phone call from an ex-colleague and he said, we got a good project. Um, we'd really like you to come and work for us. And I thought, I'm not looking. I'm not looking for a job. Um, but okay let's talk about this I'm not going to turn it down straight away because it could be really good so my future boss gave me a phone call and um, yeah as interviews go she wanted me um, she basically offered me the job in the interview and um, yeah <laughs> a week later I'd got the paperwork and the contract sorted um, and then gave him my notice um, Firstly, this is the first time someone's actively sort of seeked me out for a job and it's wonderful to know that somebody who's worked with you before um, has heard of your reputation. I just, from um, when we worked together, it was the first year of my apprenticeship and I thought I was terrible. I'm not going to lie, in my first year of my apprenticeship I messed up so much and it was interesting to see that actually that wasn't how the project at large saw me and how... Um, I actually did. Secondly, um, I'm now moving into a project management role rather than a project controls role. And although I have done project management -y type roles before, um, I will be the project manager on this one. And that's quite scary. I've been an assistant project manager and I've project managed parts of projects, but I'll be the budget holder. I'll be the one who has to make decisions. Obviously, it looks like I'm going to have support and all that, but it's definitely scary. So I got offered the job on the Friday. Uh, we got the ball rolling that day. Um, the Monday, I got a phone call from the sort of the firm that were doing the contracty side of it, um, and it was quite stressful because we had um, I was at the APM doing um, we had a board meeting and an away day Monday Tuesday. So it was already sort of one of those weeks where I was doing a lot. Um, I also had uh, some of my final coursework due in for my degree. It's definitely stressful. So I had to get together all the paperwork. So as a contractor, not only do you have like your normal paperwork, so your ID, your national insurance number, uh, stuff like that, um, proof of address. Um, you've also got to give in your VAT certificate, your company uh, certificate of incorporation, uh, your insurance details because you have to have indemnity insurance as a contractor um, in case you get things wrong and you get sued by the people you're contracting with um, you have to have insurance if you're an employee the company will insure you whereas if you're a contractor it's on you um, insurance um, loads of other documents around sort of the company to set up and it took all week and I wanted to kind of hand in my notice as early as possible and I was hoping we could get it done like on the Wednesday or Thursday so I could give slightly more than a week's notice um, but uh, my recruiter was off sick and then I couldn't find my VAT certificate or something like that so it got to Friday and I was like look I really want to give him my notice today and um, it, the paperwork came in at no word of a lie five minutes to five on the Friday I got a phone call straight from the recruiter going, can you hand in your notice now? And I was like, we do half day Fridays. We all left work five hours ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I had to wait till Monday. And oh, as a weekend, it was just stressful sitting there going, I'm going to have to tell my boss I'm leaving. Because it's never nice leaving someone in the lurch. Um, luckily... I think resource wise they were hiring anyway so they could hire more people than they were planning to they were already interviewing they were in the process and they could sort of move people around um some of the because it was a naval base so some of the boats were going out so i think they're okay um <laughs> we'll see um so that happened um so I, monday went in gave him my notice okay i'm <laughs> so scared but it was fine my boss you know he was like oh is it a good job and I was like yeah it's a really good job <laughs> I'm really excited and um and you know it was fine um he understood uh why I was doing it and everyone did and everyone was really nice about it and I was so pleased so um I wanted to talk about what I did in my final week um firstly um and I always find this the most important thing is I went to lunch with a pile of people um, I always try and go to sort of regular lunches with different people within the organization so just so I keep in contact um, but in my last week I went to lunch most days with different people and not like 
It doesn't need to be influential people or like hobnobbing with the knobs. Um, I just went to be different people. Um, I brought in some sausage rolls for people to eat because, you know, cake, sausage roll. I, I made a cake as well, I made a chocolate cake. What else did I do? Um, so that was the sort of the first thing, it was around the people. It was just, it's the social side. It's not like a formal goodbye, but it's just a, I appreciate that we've been working together and I've been enjoying it and I want to appreciate, show my appreciation with cake or with lunch you know that sort of thing um once i had done that what else did i do because i actually did go to lunch with a couple of people the week before but couldn't tell them that i was leaving <laughs> but so it's quite nice i had that extra week um in that extra week as well um i did handover documents so handover documents i really 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 regret not doing them earlier but because i wasn't planning to leave i didn't do them because i was just doing my job so i had my notes but they kind of needed deciphering so once I've done that, <laughs> I got the notes done the first week and then the second week I went through it with the person who I was handing over to. So we could work through them together, he could ask questions about it. Bish bash bosh. Um, so there's the people, there's the processes, tidying your stuff away. So there's two parts to this. There's firstly your desk. Um, always clear up a few days before you leave because there'll be stuff like under the drawers, hidden all around the place and you just want to make sure that you haven't left anything behind. Um, then you've got your computer desktop and that uh, computer desktop is your hardest bit I find because I always have random personal documents on there and I've definitely lost quite a few university assignments um, through moving jobs because I've just forgotten to save them on my personal laptop then um, once you've sort of cleared your computer make sure you make sure you also put any files you need um, somewhere like on a shared drive so that people can get access them and just put it as like Sorrel's old notes just something that they know they can delete after a few months if they haven't used them um, and the same with any papers as well you know have a folder just say look these might be useful might need shredding shredding can take forever if you've got loads of paper takes the flipping ever oh such a job um lastly <laughs> scroungers on my last day i arrived and one of my screens was gone i had two screens my laptop one of my screens was gone i accidentally had promised the other screen to two different people so there was a bit of a fight it was a little bit like the hunger games basically um my ear my ear um headset for making phone calls that I went to someone else um keyboard don't even know where the keyboard went right literally it was gone mouse all that was left was my laptop <laughs> No one nicked that, which was good. So I made sure to hand all that sort of thing over to my boss, and then I snuck off. Um, I actually snuck off before the team meeting, and my the project manager was a bit upset because I think he wanted to do a proper goodbye in the team meeting, but I don't like goodbyes, so I ran. Um, and that was my final week. Um, glad it's over, and uh, look forward to doing more things soon. So what do you think? Why don't you comment below? Do you think one week is enough notice for you to hand over a job? Um, like the video if you like it, um, subscribe if you want to, and if you want to see more, click the bell. I'll do one in a couple of weeks, um, saying what happened in my new job. Thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>